Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the final group game of round one. We've got a group D match between Ceramol and his undead versus Gavias and his lizard men. If we look to see how they're qualified, I can tell you that Ceramol is from the UK. He played on PC, qualified from the UK BBL seasons one and two. And Gavias is Spanish. Plays on the PC and qualified from the NBB. Uh, there were three people who qualified from this, so I guess that's a pretty big, uh, maybe the main Spanish league. So, yep, that's that's how they've both qualified. Looking at the teams, Gabi has chose to kick this with this Lizardman team. He's got for only four blocks, Guard Saurus and a Sneaky Git Skink. Not what I would do. He has uh, he has taken the chameleon skink only two rerolls build, which I think I think that is what I would take if I was going lizard men in this format. The fact that there could be overtime, and also a draw is a more desirable result. And um, Ceramol has gone the standard undead roll. Oh, he's got the skeleton, but apart from that, the usual thing, right? For ghouls, he's not only skilled one white with tackle, both the mummies with guard. And a block, a wrestle, and a sure hands. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of the sure hands. I know lots of people take it. Um, I feel like you know, just getting your, your ghouls defended is more important because you know people will hit them, and you'll want to use them in a way that they can be hit as well, right? My kick gets the free catch and it doesn't have to uh, put on the sure hands. Instant removal there from the non-mighty blow player. Pretty good. Beats off the uh, Croxigo. Okay, so go for the zombie block so that the mummy could have blocked on the follow-up. And you can also blitz him if he didn't need to. Oh, one in nine eats it. Yes, love the eating of the one in nine there. Though it is a little bit dangerous, <laughs> a little bit dangerous with a sneaky git right next to you. Doesn't get the knockdown. Funnily enough, what he could have done was he could have put in two players here, and he could have run around, and he could have blocked this guy. And then chained him onto the crocs, right? So he could have got an extra hit, and he could have uh, could have been quite good. But I guess he was blitzing there to get assists for the. Well, he's not getting more assists, is he? So I quite like that. Well, fill in these two squares, blitz him, so it gives you seventy-five percent knockdown instead of fifty-five. And then if you get the full power, you can chain him in and get the crocs hit as well. Not going to foul a stun guy, right? The point of Sneaky Git is, even if you get sent off for a stun, it's alright, so you don't, still don't want to foul a stun player. So here comes the massive commitment to even hit Saurus. Oh, putting the tackle, I guess going with the wrestler is a bit better, right? Or just mighty blow blitzing. Would have also been fine. This uh, so this mummy's in a lot of trouble, isn't he? Feeding the Croxy zombie. The ball down. Nothing. Oh, gets the knockdown because he blitz the defenseless guy. Surely gonna foul this. Uh... Yep, here we go. Stuns him. Three dice over here. Just followed, right? Just follow, and then you've got him. You can, you've got the assist to punch him with a skink next turn. 
and it stops him coming around and punching one and blocking the other, which might be happening. Yeah. Oh no, it's not happening. <laughs> the massive chain <laughs> to stop the mummy getting punched. Can you come all the way around here? Yep. And just punch that one. Only a stun. Go for the tackle. Dub skulls. Turn three. It's so tempting, isn't it? Because it protects your skinks as well. Only two us and one assist. Does nothing, but Sneaky gets saves him. Crook scores bonehead. Oh, this is this is tough, right? Because it's only turn four. Turn four panic. You basically have to come back to this side, right? Because you've got four players here, but you can't just go past with four. So you've just got to try and reconnect with your mummies. Get get driving behind your mummies is what you've got to do. Oh, I don't like this. Do I not like this? Also, with blitzing with wrestle. Because I just blitzed with ball carrier, unless the ball carrier is going the other way. Ball carrier is just better, right? Because he's got block, so. Could have knocked him down. He won a nine instead of wrestling his ass. Oh, removal. Two Saurus down. Didn't Apo either one, by the way, Gabias. Not even the blocks. I think it was the block one that just got KO'd, wasn't it? Let's have a look. Tehotek. Okay, and is it this one? Yeah. No, you have to. You have to Apo this, I think. Even though it's turn four, I think you have to have all that guy. Gets the punch. Which gets another punch. No, it didn't. I thought you hadn't activated him for some reason. I was blitzing here to get another player back to relevancy. I really didn't like this. I mean. Because the thing is, you're just getting away from your mummies, aren't you? You're getting away from mummies. I don't, I don't like trying to fight strength four and five guys without your mummies, basically. Which is what's this leading to, isn't it? Oh, that guy's out. Choose. This is this is the dream now. He's got the tackle isolated on a Saurus. It's not really a dream, but it's all right, isn't it? It's kind of what you want. You don't really want just you know give up the trade a Saurus one one trade. But if you are giving up a Saurus in one to one trade, you want it to be versus the block tackle guy who could kill all of your skinks by himself. I guess it's bad that he's down two Saurus now, isn't it? Can't believe he didn't apple the KO Saurus though. If not the first one, you have to apple the second one. Oh, huge stun. A tree D. Yeah, I like that dodge getting away with him. Take the ball down because it's a leaky git. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
market to try and get the crocs in the mix. Oh, dubsicles. Jesus. There's been some bad dice for Gabby. Yes? I don't like this push direction though. I prefer pushing down there and then getting the crocs in here. Now I guess you, that's, that's good enough, isn't it? Hello, sir. Don't worry, I didn't say you were terrible. <laughs> Hello, Torek. I, d I didn't like this push, so I'll tell you what I did say. Um, I didn't like the push up here like a couple of turns ago, right? I preferred getting back around to get your mummies involved because he's got strength four guys that they could be punching instead of needing your know, three guys to punch an strength four guy, even though he's down two. I still just wanted to get back, reconnect to the mummies. That's what I would have tried to do. Because like, you can leave a, like, a bit of a late push, right, with movement seven guys. So I would have tried to do that. Yeah, it's a good point. Honestly, this is uh, this is. I tell you, your biggest mistake, Simon. I mean, you can't even fix it, right? We're not allowed to change the teams that we uh, we registered. Number one, it's an unpainted team, right? Default, default logo, default paints. You know, a little bit boring. Default cheerleaders. Come on, man. At least there's the white dwarf. But and Gavi has just as bad luck. Default cheerleaders. I don't know if this is the default lizard man color and logo, but it sure looks like it could be. Yeah, honestly. Next next year, Saramol, I expect better from you. <laughs> okay, that one D was a bit rough, wasn't it? Dub skulls. And it looks like we're gonna get a 2D on the ball. Yeah. Oh wait, what? What? He just moved him there instead of assisting with him. He just moved him one square. And <laughs> he could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Eight. He could have just done the blitz. He could have been he could have come in there. And this guy could have just done the blitz. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Like that could have just been the blitz. And then he moved in and just had to do a dodge. Just gave himself an eleven percent to fail. Not what I would have done. Well, I mean, I might have done it, you know. <laughs> but I think it was a mistake. Is is the more accurate thing? To say I've definitely made mistakes before. I've definitely done horrendous things that I would never think I would have done, but I did them anyway. Well, there you go, man. Man, I bet. Uh, I bet he felt bad that he didn't have a reroll because a rush to there is so good, you isn't it? You can be my wingman anytime. But um. Bullshit. You can be mine. <laughs> Yep, thank you very much. Sea Rolls, really glorious. Welcome, welcome to uh, whatever this game is. <laughs> tail on tail on two ghouls is pretty rough, isn't it? That ghoul's trapped. This one fails one in four and stuns himself. And now the. <sighs> He can't get in range. Oh, so actually, this guy. Um, is also now on tackle. Okay, this Saurus is the scoring threat? This Saurus is the scoring threat, let's go. Oh no, he can blitz, he can blitz. Oh, easy. For some reason I thought he would have blitzed already. Oh my god, and he gets the stun, so it doesn't even need to cut him off. And he gets the sneaky get as a scoring threat, oh dear. Wow. 
Disaster for Seri Rumol. Gabby S now really wishing he'd gone for the three reroll build. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Kaz done his way to try and make it a bit harder, but regen works. So now 66% the scope. Uh, I can move this guy first, right, for the bobble box. Doesn't, so. Could have added like, you know, 0.1% chance to there. And fails. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So, offense has failed. Saurus has stayed out, so, but it's still 11. And it's a block source. There's only three block source, so like, that's good. The, the block source has become a little bit more important on offense, I feel. Yeah, I didn't think of that, but the blitz defense is a nice little thing about the chameleon skink, isn't it? Mm. I mean, it's probably more likely that the bad dice affect one side than both sides, right? When you think about it. When you think about it, it's probably less likely that it affects both sides. There are definitely games of two halves, though. Um, we just saw one, didn't we? Uh, Arms away versus Viking Cop. They were two really swingy ones. Oh, wow, he got a pro. He got a pro mummy. And then didn't blitz with it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so we're going for the tackle and then put the tackle on the skink and then there's guard to protect the tackler pound, 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 pound. I mean I don't think that Anyone's really had bad dice in this. I mean, Gabby has had more plays removed, but then he could have appled one. Um, but last game, there was definitely, like, the first half was a dicing for uh, Arzawin, and the second half was a dicing for Viking Cop. Ceramol got a mummy removed, but then got the luck to get it back, which was good. I feel like um, that blitz is a bit weird, right? Could have put in, uh, I guess you don't really want to put in a skink. Wait, this is five, and this is three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay, it's pretty hard, isn't it? I mean, you could have put in two skinks. I think you probably do put in two skinks, right? And then blitz him. But then... Can you get surfed? Yes. So that's pretty bad as well, isn't it? So yeah, this is a this is a this is a big problem for Gabias here, isn't it? Yeah, this is a big problem. Okay, he's right into a cage. Next to that stun mummy. Just dodge the Saurus. I guess if you're gonna base the mummy with a skink, then then you probably do just blitz him, right? Because then you can uh, you can blitz him and stick him out there, which is pretty good, and then maybe foul him. So if you were gonna get a player hit by the mummy, which he has decided to in the end, you could have put him there to cancel that assist. And then Blitz and base this sneaky hit. Go. 
Got a three dice. No, we're not. We're not blitzing the tackle. We've got a three dice him. I mean, I know this is a, this is a two D, and you you strand him on there, but. It's a blockless block, isn't it? Which I feel like versus the tackle, I'd rather be three dicing him with block than two dicing him without. But right back on top of things here is Gabias. Apart from leaving this guy out, oh, I guess it's to screen all this. Yeah, he has to because this went stupid. Yeah. Yep. Zombie base. Okay, we're putting both both mummies on the crocs. Yeah, surely gonna blitz the uh, I mean foul, surely gonna foul the uh, tackler this turn. Gigantic gang foul. Oh, big risk though. Big risk using the ball carrier assist. Maybe shouldn't have done that. Gets the KO, doesn't matter. And yep, yeah, Crocs doesn't really care about the two mummies because he just had a, his guys to assist. Wow, this is uh, this is bad news for Ceremon. This is real bad news. Oh, that's good news. And the removal. Alright, what's the state of play? Two Saurus down. Put five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Versus three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So still a player down. Tackle. Why and just a zombie? Whereas he is a, a block saurus turned into a uh, skink. Can't believe he didn't. I can't believe he didn't apple this KO blocker. By the way, <laughs> who funnily enough did fail his KO rolls. But like, wow, that was a really, really big non-apple on that guy. Wait. That was a... Blitz on a guy who could have got hit by a mummy to move the mummy. Hmm. Okay, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I can't lie, I don't like that at all. I just punched. I just punched and like, if I was going to put him there, I'd have just like not based him on it. But fair enough, tired, etc, etc, etc. And, uh, yeah. Oof. We are going to foul, but the sneaky git is a bit exposed here. Do you know what? This was a, I think this was a subtle mistake. A subtle mistake here. No, it wasn't. Disregard. Disregard. I was thinking maybe the dead body could have made him stop this guy hitting down, but he can't hit that down anyway. He'd have to come in from this direction. But you can three dice, right? Put in the mummy. Wait a minute, you just got to stand up the mummy. Stand up the mummy, put in a zombie, and you get a three dice him with block. That's looking the play, isn't it? Have to deal with the sneaky git. <laughs> Oh. 
Oh, okay, but splitting the crocs. Fair enough. So, like, this, this like blunts the attack, doesn't it? Though I would have not followed. If you don't follow, then uh, this guy comes in and you can 2D the swords. Just going to 1D the swords. I feel like not following is better there to get the uh, 2D on. Oof, stupid crocs. He's going for the breakaway. It's turn 14. Just quietly, it's, be it's become turn 14. I don't really like that breakaway. Because I feel like you can just block the... Uh... Yeah, block that first and see if you power it. And then if you power it, then you can blitz the other one. Otherwise, you could have blitzed the mummy. This just seems a little bit risky. Gonna have to dodge at least one skink, isn't he? And fails. And yeah, that is the problem there. Oof. Can't three dice him? No. But can two dice with block and then pick up with sure hands? It's kind of crazy that it got to this, isn't it? So, you know, like, good battling by Saramol, I guess, because... I mean, I, I guess Gavias is down two swords. But it seems like it's been on the back foot all half, like losing the tackle as well. Mummies are always down. Haven't hardly made any blocks, the mummies. And then somehow... I guess the Crocs has been stupid a decent amount, and yeah, just down to Saurus, I guess, has been... has been, uh, pretty bad for Gabias. Oh. Let's him through. Gets the 2D. It's the push into the so no, it doesn't get the push into the Saurus. I mean, I think you can push him into the Saurus there, can't you? Oh, he hasn't got block though. The Saurus hasn't got block. Oh, maybe you don't push him into the Saurus. Casual removal and pick up. It's turn fifteen. So he needs this one to dodge out. Oh no, he can just pal. He can just punch with the mummy. Oof. But shows why the punch is... Clearly shows why the punch is better than the dodge, right? Can get this. So it's like... So, so this is an interesting one, isn't it? What's the best square to stand for him? Because... Gabias cannot score because he's already had his turn 15 so it's the scoring threat so probably what you want is one two three four five six so like here so if you get powered to there you can go one two three four no so you want to be stood here so if you get powered to there you can go one two three four rush rush so you probably want to be stood here i would say it's probably the best square so that if you get powered back, you can still score. And like, you're still in range for the handoff, right? Like, there's no point being right low downs, because then maybe this guy could get pushed back, or you could get pushed away, and then you could add rushes. So probably, or maybe maybe there is, maybe just like four away, one, two, three, four. Maybe like here is best. No, then you're too far away. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so there. Yeah, maybe there. Maybe di directly seven there, and maybe maybe this maybe this column. You just got to you just got to blitz him with skinks. I think that's the only play. Doesn't get the knockdown, but gets a second chance. Oh, he didn't block him! 
got a block right there. Haven't you? Yeah, he hasn't activated. You could have just blocked him. You could have just blocked him. Wow. Wow. Maybe he's, uh, you know, run out of time or something. Okay, starts with a dodge. Wrestle Blitz. Gets the push. Three plus to score with a reroll. There we go. Wow, 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 wow. 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 <laughs> well, there you go. Congratulations, Ceremol. Um, got the job done. I mean, you know, the thing is, the funny thing is, is you can sit there and you can say, oh, this was slightly suboptimal and stuff. But, like, it's not a criticism. It's not. It's just, you know, it's pointing out things that could be done better from a purely, you know, kind of hypothetical perfect world play, isn't it? Like, you know, I would never, ever, ever, ever just give people to surf like I have done in games, right? I would never, ever just, like, not stand somebody up for no reason, right? Like, it's things that you already know and stuff, but, you know, I, you know, I like to point them out for, you know, viewers that might not know and stuff as well. And, uh... But, you know, a lot of it is the pressure, isn't it? The situation, or like if you're tired there and stuff, and and all that sort of. There's so many things that go into it. So there's a lot to be said for just like hanging in there, and uh, like mentally and getting in the job done, which uh, which you did. So there you go. Congratulations, Sir. Well, commiserations, Gabias. I mean, Gabias had some bad dice as well. To be fair, he's lost a lot of source. He should have appled one though, right? He should have. I think he should have appled the first KO, and after the first KO, he definitely should have appled the second KO, like a hundred percent. I don't think that's really a debate that he had to apple the KOs there. Um, and I know it didn't recover, so it looks better. But even then, like it just just having it for that drive, it's so important to keep source on the field. Um, so yeah, there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.